Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today I am going to explain the Caterpillar C18 model engine generators or C15 model engine or diesel generators. Engine crank but does not start. Or engine no crank no start with the EMCP 4.1 and 4.2 controller step by step process and troubleshooting methods how to fix the problem to start the generator or the engine before the starting the video I smile request to all newcomers if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more let's update videos so let's get started first of all we are explaining the engine no crank, no start condition. Okay. As you can see here, we have EMCP 4.1 and 4.2 controller. Okay. In a generators. Same like C15 model and C18 model are the same type of winding diagram. Okay. With the 4.1 and 4.2 controller in a generator. First of all, you need to check. Step one: If you have problem, no crank, no start condition. Okay. As you can see here, this is our EMCP 4.1 and 4.2 controller big side. We have 70 pin connectors. Okay. Inside the 70 pin connector, we have 70 pins. Okay. You need to find out, figure out the pin 51 and pin 61. Okay, pin 61 is your input supply. Okay, as you can see here, we have relay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is all the volt free contacts. Okay, normally open contacts. Okay, as you can see here pin 51 and pin 61 okay we gave the supply to the 61 and get out supply through the pin 51 okay as you can see here the pin 14 orange wire this is going to the starter motor okay throughout to the two emergency switches to the MC point and then finally going to the starter motor solenoid relay okay First of all, if you have a problem, engine, no crank, no start condition. You need to only verify. First of all, you need to check your battery. Make sure your battery in good condition. Battery terminal is fully tight. Okay, battery is fully charged. Okay, after that, you need to check this wiring. Okay. Okay, check with the multimeter, the reading of these two points. First of all, you need to verify the input supply pin 55 is input this is the battery positive feed to the pin 61 input okay and then out through the pin 51 which is wire number 14 orange wire okay this is output supply to the starter motor relay okay you need to check this output supply during cranking and and without cranking you need to verify the pin 55 and put to the pin 61 verify check the system voltage make sure you have 12 volt or 24 volt but most of time c18 c15 model have 24 volt okay you need to verify 24 volt and supply and then out 24 volt out will dc output to the starter motor relay okay this is the one condition no crank no start okay now we are move to the crank but does not start okay in a truck and bus you need to check from the ignition key key switch key switch going to the starter motor relay and then check the starter motor relay to the starter motor and a vehicle and a trucks okay and a generator generator have EMCP 4.1 and 4.2 controller you follow these steps okay after that 
engine crank but does not start first of all you need to verify the fuel system make sure you have enough fuel in your diesel tank okay and all fuel line is good and okay condition fuel filter is time to time serviced make sure no clogged not too dirty and have a good condition fuel okay after that bleed the system from the air locking make sure you have no any air bubbles in a fuel line okay and verify after that engine crank but does not start you need to check as you can see here wheel number 2 fuel control okay the pin black wire pin 2 input to the pin 58 fuel control system is controlled by the negative dc supply okay as you can see here and pin 48 is out through the pin 41 black wire this wire is going directly to the electronic fuel motor okay fuel priming motor okay you need to check this through the, to the relay and verify make sure your relay is okay wiring connection is good and relay is clicking during cranking okay and make sure your motor is running fuel motor okay this is another step to check engine crank but does not start after that as you can see here we have as you can see here we have relay box okay first of all you need to verify no any warning echo or alarm make sure to rest all the indication warning alarm and then try to start the engine okay as you can see here we have relay box okay one relay is for starter motor one is relay slave relay one is for the as you can see one is our circuit breaker only okay then the final step engine crank but does not start to verify acm make sure acm is working or not how to determine as you can see here we have this is our ecm okay as you can see here the slave relay red wire as you can see the b positive is coming from the relay box to the pin 48 pin 52 and pin 53 to the acm connector okay as you can see here to the acm connector make sure you have supply on this three terminal three pins okay battery positive supply 24 volt okay check this three one this is the continuously on switch supply to this three points 48 52 and 53 okay and also the cm another side ground power supply is 61 63 65 okay this is coming from the negative junction okay after that one thing is you can see in the relay box that's mean the sr relay means slave relay this is the main acm main relay okay as you can see here acm out as you can see here in a relay box cb3 15 ampere as you can see the circuit breaker out is going to the main acm relay okay which is input to the pin 30 and then out from the pin 87 okay b positive if we follow this wire as you can see this wire is going to this three pin okay make sure you have a supply positive supply on to this three pin okay and also you have a ground input supply to this three pin okay that means you are getting supply in a acm so i hope this video you all understand a little bit about the generator thing but does not start our engine no crank no start if if you have further any question please write comment below and comment section i will give you the complete detail about that 
Thanks for watching my video. See you all next time. Goodbye.